This video guide has been created to assist you in properly and completely entering information into the 2025 USA Track and Field Meet Officials Selection Application. To be eligible for selection for one of the annual Big Three Championship Meets, the Senior Indoor Championship, the U-20 Outdoor Championship, and the Senior Outdoor Championship, you must have an overall certification level of national or master. Even though they are not eligible, apprentice and association level officials are encouraged to submit an application so that they are part of the NOC database. This database is used for creating performance evaluations for any of eight different meets conducted through the indoor and outdoor seasons. These additional five meets will be discussed later. The deadline for submitting an application is 11 to 59 p.m. Pacific Time, October 15th. No applications will be accepted after that time. Applicants must be a current USATF member, and selected officials must have a current membership by March 31st or one month prior to the competition, if it occurs prior to March 31st. Selected officials must be three-step compliant prior to the first day of competition for that meet. Selected officials must be available for all days of competition. Officials selected through this process may be eligible to receive an honorarium to help offset their expenses. This amount can vary and is paid directly to the official. We recommend that this application be completed on a computer rather than a tablet or smartphone device. Further, we recommend that you use the tab key to move between fields and not the enter key. A mouse or other pointing device is recommended. The first section is to collect information about the official. Fields marked with a red asterisk are required from each official. You must enter your 10-digit USATF membership number. This is not your certification number. Enter your first and last name in the appropriate fields. Please do not use all capital letters or all lowercase letters. A working email address is an essential piece of information. You will receive a copy of your completed application at this email address immediately after submitting it. Please keep this copy for your records. Your email address is also used for evaluations and for contacting you if you are selected. We ask you to either upload a photo in PNG or JPG format or use your device camera to take a clear headshot. Please have a plain color background, preferably white, and make sure that your full face is visible. The selection committee uses these photos to tie faces to names. You must enter your current certification level. This will trigger access to other parts of the form. From the drop-down list, please select your association. This is another critical piece of information, as a copy of your application is sent to your association certification chairman for their review and recommendation. The next section collects demographic information. This information is not used as part of the selection process, but is reported in aggregate to various groups within USATF. For each question, you can elect to decline to answer, or you can select other. If you choose to enter your age, please do so with a two-digit number. This section is used to track the number of officials who have been selected in the prior year and is used for statistical purposes. If you were not selected as a regular team member or as an alternate or did not apply for any of these meets, you can skip this section. This section is used for indicating which of the championship meets you wish to apply for and for which teams you wish to be part of. This section will only appear if you are a national or master level official and have selected that earlier on the form. If you are a national or master level official but are electing to not apply for one of the national championship meets, you can skip this section. When completing this section, you can check the box for any or all of the meets indicated. In each case, you will be able to select up to four different teams to apply for. You cannot apply for the same team four times, as it will not increase your chance of selection. Please note that even if you are an overall national or master level official, you must also hold a national or master level certification in the area you are applying for. For example, if you are only an association level horizontal jumps official, you will not be considered for that team. If you have second thoughts and do not want to be considered for a meet you had previously selected, 
uncheck the box next to the name of the meat, and that data will be erased. When you select one or all of the three meats, the following will appear. If you are applying for a position as a racewalk judge or official, which is handled by the racewalk committee through a separate process, please check the yes box. Otherwise, you can ignore this. You can select up to four different teams in order of preference. Click the drop-down box and a list of teams for that meet will appear. You can scroll through the list and select your first, second, third, and fourth preferences. Once you select a preference, it will not appear in any succeeding preference list. In the meet resume, you can list up to 16 meets you officiated in the past four years and up to three different teams and positions you served in at each meet. Select the year that the meet was conducted. Select the event or team that you served on. Select the name of the meet. Several meets are already listed in the drop-down menu. If you do not see a particular meet, such as Drake Relays or Pen Relays, select Other from the drop-down. An additional boo will appear where you can enter the name of the meet. Select the position you held on the team. To add another meet, click on Add Meet. Another line will appear in the resume section. You are limited to 16 meets on your list. This section outlines the composition of the selection committee. In the other meets section, you can indicate what other meets you would like to have your information shared to. These meets are not part of the selection committee process, but this information is sent to the officials coordinators of these meets to indicate your interest. Please note that each meet may require a separate application. Some meets may provide apparel for officials, including shirts, jackets, hats, or even shoes. To assist the local organizing committees in preparing for this, you can enter your sizes here. This information will be forwarded to those LOCs to assist them in their preparations. If you have not been evaluated at one of these eight meets, or if you are a certification chair, you can request one outside recommendation from a master level official to be added to your application. To do so, send the recommending official the link to the outside recommendation form along with your 10-digit membership number and have them complete the recommendation no later than October 22nd. When you have completed and reviewed your application, select the blue Submit Your Application button. Your application will be forwarded to our NOC database. A copy will be sent to your association certification chair, and you will receive a copy of the information you submitted. If you wish to restart your application, select the Reset button. Please note that all your previously entered information will be cleared, so only do this if you're starting over on your application. For technical questions about your application, please contact Mark Heckel, Technology Committee Chairman at mark.theckel at outlook.com. For advice on how to maximize your selection chances, speak with your association certification chairperson. Good luck.